great, great experiences. But um, unfortunately for me, uh, Christmas Eve on that 2018, I suffered a massive stroke. And so like 2019 for me, that's kind of reeling mentally in turmoil and dealing with a lot of unknowns. Uh, most of them are now, unknowns now. I do have answers to which, which are fortuitous answers and um, it's gone well for me. So this year really has been, um, 2020 has been a big year for me just to get myself back and get running uh, and be mentally and physically well again. And so next year I hope to do uh, the Warriors Way in April, which is 260 mile. And that'll be a real, the first time I've I've returned to anything big yeah. since the Tell stroke. Tell me about the so. effect of the stroke then, because obviously what, what sort of effect did it have on you, what mentally and physically, how did, how did that affect you? Uh, a stroke is, is uh, oh, it's hard to articulate the impact a stroke will have on somebody. Um, I, I've been very lucky in my recovery, but the only real reason I've been so for, uh, fortuitous in my recovery is for the fact that the NHS acted so quickly um, and did such a fantastic job that they, I had an operation called a thrombectomy where they manually claw out the clot from your head because the drugs didn't uh, dissipate and, and get rid of the clot. And so the expertise that I received, which I was very lucky to get, saved me from well it saved my life first and foremost it wasn't looking good for me um but it, it also prevented me from being severely paralyzed which was absolutely on the cards because the entire right side of my brain was starved of blood um so my whole left side was paralyzed now one of my worst fears was to be paralyzed um and it happened to me but i was just like incredibly lucky that it came back when they remove the clot, I have got weakness, I have got heaviness, I have had to change how I run, but I can run. Um, and so, but it, it's it's more than that. It's more than it's more than the running. It's um, you, you realise how um, fragile you are and how how short life is, and all these cliches. Oh man, the 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 thing is, when I went back to the gym after a couple of months after the stroke. Um, so I ran Redford half marathon 13 weeks after the stroke. So I, I was I was straight back at it, whether that's right or wrong is, a, is another debate, but I went straight back at it. And then um, I went to the gym and I always remember, because it, I, I, it's just such a powerful question, but he, he didn't mean it to be. But then I came in through the gym and I said, yeah, I'm not gonna run today, but I'm just gonna do a few, you know, real gentle exercise and why there. And he said, is it worth it? as in running again <laughs> and, and uh, I kind of looked at him and I didn't really know how to take the question is it worth it because I because in my head I was just You've like questioned it yeah I was like, I was like Carry on. Yeah, yeah like wh why would I ever think is it is it worth me running like that's just I've never even sat down and thought shall I stop running because it might be dangerous as I the whole time through in my mind I was going to keep running. Now, if, if all the medical advice sat me down and told me, don't run because it's going to be very dangerous for you. I've got children. I'd listen to mm. it. But but no one has done that. Mm. But it's amazing how many people, even like him, is thinking like, play it safe now. You know, you've been very lucky. Um, just stop, stop all that stupid stuff you're doing and you might live longer. But for me, no, like I live for the stupid stuff. So I, I, I've got to carry on.